In this video, I will explain how to size your wires. I will share what I think about wire size calculators and why you should not use them. This is a standard solar power system. If we want to calculate the wire size, we have to make two different calculations. One with the voltage drop for the solar panels and one without voltage drop for the rest of the system. I have made a video about sizing wires for solar panels. I recommend watching it after this video. Now I will talk about the second part, where I calculate wires for inverters, charge controllers and other DC devices. You must place all components as close to each other as possible. If you keep your wire shorter than 6 feet or 1.8 meters, you don't have to use a voltage drop calculation. I have some free diagrams for you, including wire and fuse sizes, where I explain how they are calculated. So check the first link in the description to receive these diagrams for free. Let's get started calculating the wire sizes. I'm building an off-grid backup system for my fridge in case of a power outage. Here is a diagram. We have a 12 volt lithium battery with a 600 watt inverter. We have to calculate the current going through this wire. We divide the inverter power by the battery voltage. 600 watts divided by 12 volts equals 50 amps. Next, we have to apply a safety factor. This is to account for the higher surrounding temperatures. We use a safety factor of 125%. So we multiply the 50 amps by 1.25 to get 62.5 amps. Now that we know the current through the wire, including the safety margin, we must look for a wire that can handle this current. Now comes the more difficult part, and why I don't recommend using calculators. Different wire types are designed for specific temperature limits. If these limits are exceeded, their insulation may weaken or melt. This means that some wires can carry more current while having the same size. For example, a 6 gauge TW wire rated for 60 degrees Celsius can carry a maximum of 55 amps, while a 6 gauge welding wire rated for 105 degrees Celsius can carry 115 amps. The main reason is the type of insulating jacket around the wire. That is why you should not use calculators where the wire insulation temperature is not shown. If you buy a cheap wire without knowing its temperature rating and assume it can handle more current than it actually can, it might overheat. This can be risky and lead to dangerous situations. Moving forward in this video, we will focus on using welding wire with a 105 degrees Celsius insulation rating, chosen for its quality and the American manufacturer behind it. You will find the link to the supplier in the video description. They can also crimp the cable lugs for you. Do you remember that we needed to use a wire rated at a minimum of 62.5 amps? We can see that we can use a 6 gauge cable because 62.5 amps is smaller than the maximum allowable current of 115 amps. An 8 gauge cable will be too small because it can only carry 55 amps. And that's how easy it is to size a wire. Let's do a few other calculations for a client of mine. He has a 24 volt battery, a 40 amp charge controller, a 2000 watt inverter, and a 300 watt DC to DC converter. We will start by sizing the main cable, which is called W1, coming from the battery. The maximum total power through this wire is 2000 watts from the inverter, plus 300 watts from the DC to DC converter. We divide the total power by the battery voltage. 2300 watts divided by 24 volts equals 96 amps. We then multiply by the safety factor of 125% to become 120 amps. We need to select a wire that can handle 120 amps. This is a 4 gauge wire. If you're enjoying the video and finding it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could hit the like button. Your support encourages me to create more content on solar power, just for you. Next, we calculate the wire from the 40 amp charge controller to the battery. The maximum current the charge controller can deliver is 40 amps. We multiply this by a safety factor of 125% to become 50 amps. We need a wire that can carry 50 amps. This is an 8 gauge wire. Next up is the wire to the inverter. 
the maximum power this wire carries is 2000 watts. We divide this by the battery voltage to get 83 amps. We then multiply by the safety factor and we can see we need a wire that can carry 103 amps. This is a 6 gauge wire. For the last wire in our system, we divide the total power output of the DC to DC converter by the battery voltage. We become 12.5 amps. We then multiply by the safety factor to become 16 amps. The lowest rating of the manufacturer we previously used is 8 gauge, which is too large for our purpose, so we have to look elsewhere. You can still use an 8 gauge, but I will show you how to select another wire. By looking on Amazon, I have found a speaker wire rated at 75 degrees Celsius. Ensure the temperature is listed on the details page. Otherwise, use 60 degrees Celsius as the worst case scenario. Looking at the NEC MPSD ratings for conductors rated from 60 to 90 degrees Celsius, we can see that a 14 gauge wire rated at 75 degrees Celsius will fit our system. This wire is called speaker wire, used in automotive audio systems, but we can still use it for our system. Many speaker wires on Amazon are made of copper clad aluminium, which I don't recommend because it has a higher resistance and can carry less current. If you use aluminium wires, refer to the aluminium conductors part of the table. These can carry less current, so the size needs to be increased. If you don't find the wire's temperature rating, you can look at the type of wire illustrated on the sales page, or on the wire itself. In the NEC Ampacity table, you can see different wire types that fall within the 60, 75 and 90 degrees Celsius specifications. Here is a table if you want to compare American wire gauge to millimeter squared. After we have sized the wires, we can select a few size. I have made a dedicated video about this. Go check the video after this one. Don't forget to check out the free diagrams through the link in the description. Let me know your thoughts on this video in the comments. Subscribe for more videos like this. And watch these videos next.